What is up, database? Data Dolo 7 here. And today, welcome to my new Let's Play of the History Channel Presents Civil War. Now, now the Cabela's Dangerous Hunts thing, I just kind of got sick of it, so I decided to start something new. No, and this is going to be my first FPS, official FPS, hunting doesn't really count. Let's play, so, see we have two sides to choose from, North and South, which are the Union and the Confederates. I'm going to start off with the North first, just considering it's on it. So anyway, let's go. I'm just going to... If you can hear it okay, I don't know if you can hear this okay, but it's basically like the History Channel with the documentary thing. This makes you feel at home. Yep. So anyhow, I my first play through this game. This is probably one of the most one of the easiest FPSs I think I or say first person shooters I think I've ever played. Plus it's not even too long, and there's not really a proper ending in but anyhow. Let's go. Alright, we get some fun. Now, the weapons in this are basically like guns they have at the time, and they're pretty unique. There are certain guns I like, some I don't like. Right. I did not mean to throw a grenade. And what sucks is that you just can't reload any time you want to. So, right now you got three weapons. The rifle, sword, revolver. So yeah, sorry for the inactivity for a while because, because all my problems have had to do with school. And you know, school always comes first. And I've had have had some family problems, which I'm not gonna tell, obviously, but So yeah, 31 subscribers now. You guys freaking rule. Okay, so what sucks here is that there's not really a checkpoint system, so if you want to start where, from where you died, you have to save right here. I do this often, especially when you progress further in the level, so we won't have to start back so far. And there is a reset start feature, which just restarts the entire level.
Yeah, how is everybody? So yeah, as I mentioned in an update, for a while, I'm not going to have anything specific planned for each month because I only got one board game review up just due to the fact of time constraints and the lack of things I had to review. Because me and Warglance originally were going to bring... We were going to do some of his too, but we just never got around to it. And that was the only one we ever got. We originally did have like this, I don't know, it was a tumbling tower, which was basically a Jenga, Jenga clone. Which we didn't end up using the footage considering it was shot really poorly. And as I mentioned, Morgan Lance now has a channel as well. So you can go check him out if you want to. I may put the link in the description. I don't know. It depends if I can get a, if I'll get around to it. And I also said I'm now on Twitter. Put that in the description. Man, man, I cannot believe that Morgan Lance twice pulled pranks on me while I was in the shower. Okay, if you still haven't seen those, go check them, check them out. Check them out. One is on Morgan Lance's channel. One is on mine, just due to the fact that he did not have his channel in the, at the time. He's only had his channel for like almost two weeks now. Pitt still has yet to get his channel. So like I said, even on easy mode, this game is really, is pretty easy. I've only played it on normal a couple times. Let's just take this guy out. So we're coming up here to a stopping point, so like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.